Welcome to a new edition of the Cruise in the UBC World podcast of Unlimited Vacation Club, this time celebrating Curacao. Mike, how are you? Welcome to another episode. I'm great, as usual. Happy to be here, Charlie. Let's get this going. Yes, we are very excited to uh, feature this amazing destination because it's vibrant, full of colors. And you know, Mike, uh, we recently were there and we were surprised by all the beauty and all the different uh, activities that they have available. It's a hidden gem in the Caribbean, uh, a lively destination burst, uh, bursting with energy. So let me tell you, Mike, that Curacao uh, is an island in the Caribbean Sea within the Kingdom of the Netherlands, considered the part of South America. Willemstad is the capital city and it occupies the most considerable portion of the island's central area. It has actually a population of over 166,000 uh, inhabitants. Yeah, I was jealous you were there while I had to work here in Cancun. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the islands on the airport is Hato International Airport, which is a few minutes away from the Willemstad capital. And the airport receives many flights from the United States, Colombia and the Netherlands. Yeah, we're just missing a flight from Cancun. Oops. <laughs> right. Well, Curaçao is part of the ABC Islands. So from west to east, the order is Aruba, Curaçao and Bonaire. A smaller inhabited isle of the southeast of Curaçao, it's called Plain Curaçao. This hidden Caribbean gem saw the end of slavery in 1830. Its Dutch architecture merges with African, Spanish, and Portuguese influences to create a distinctive legacy. And you know, with a multicultural society, spoken languages are also diverse, including Papiamento, Dutch, English, and Spanish, which, by the way, if you know how to speak Spanish and English, you might understand about 30, 40% of what they say. It's crazy. And the official language is Papiamento, but many people also speak the other three languages. Yes, we were very surprised of the amount of languages, the polyglot people, you know, that lives over there. And also that Aruba and Bonaire also speak Papiamento. So let me tell you, Mike, that English has been widely spoken since Curacao became a British colony during the 19th century as well. And you know, it's also home to seriously beautiful beaches. Amongst the most popular are Porto Mari Beach, Nip Beach, and Casabao Beach, all of them Caribbean looking, you know, like a landmark of the Caribbean gorgeous. And if you're a history buff, visit the Cura Culanda Museum, dedicated to the slave trade in the Caribbean. Another place of historical relevance is Fort Amsterdam, built during the 17th century to defend the island from pirate attacks. Explore Christopher National Park, a protected nature area at the northwestern end of the island of Curaçao. And there you can enjoy breathtaking 360 degrees view. Be on the lookout while hiking up the mountain. You might encounter a deer or the world's largest raptor called Wada Wada. <laughs> wada Wada. Oh my God, Wada Wada. <laughs> If you are not into hiking, head down to the western coast and find Kenepa Beach which are actually two beautiful coves where you can snorkel, scuba dive, or just spend a relaxing day. This is an amazing beach, Mike. The Swinging Old Lady Bridge is one of the most emblematic landmarks of Wilmestad and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. An exciting weekly event called Punda Viv happens every Thursday, filling the night with color and rhythms. Uh, I, I was there once when I saw this kind of like a carnival and uh, They wear these really colorful costumes and uh, drums, and it's just a huge show, amazing. A popular spot for swimming and snorkeling is Grote Nip, with a lovely location and cold waters. When you are in the area, make sure to visit the Clank Nip, Laguna Beach, Kalki Beach, and Priscado Beach, where you will find sea turtles and a King Neptune statue. And for all of our UBC members that love art or are fans of art, we recommend visiting Scalo and its colorful mural walls. The artisty neighborhood between Piteremari District and Punda is where you will find amazing works of art from local talents such as Garrick Marchena, Francis Ling, and Alex Da Silva. If you enjoyed the sounds of the ocean and waves crashing the shore, 
these are three perfect spots for you. So the park begins at Boca Tabla, where huge waters thunder into an underground cavern. You have also Boca Pistol, which offers a unique display of nature's uh, power. Ocean waters is compressed into the bay and pushed out with gunshot-like sounds. Hence the name. You also have Sheet Boca, is Curacao's largest national park and the place with an impressive panoramic view of the limestone buffs. When you visit uh, Tugboat Beach, not only lay on the sand, but explore under the dock right next door. You can also opt for riding a sea bob, your own personal water scooter. Kokomo Beach is worth visiting. This lovely spot is right next door to the aquarium and famous for its purely white sand. Did you know that the famous Beach Boys recorded a song called Kokomo? The lyrics describe a couple traveling to a relaxing place in Kokomo. The Beach Boys, wow. <laughs> Classics, yeah. So Puerto Marie was a very popular uh, a spot thanks to its white sand beaches, the reef and crystal clear waters. But since the pet pigs took residence there, this beach became world famous. So have you seen them, uh, Mike? They have three little pigs. Yes. And you know, as we're recording this podcast, I, I really feel like I have to visit Curacao soon because it's just amazing. Oh, yeah. And taking a picture with a huge Curacao sign in the Queen Wilhelmina Park should be one of the to-do lists. Yes, definitely. Yeah, once there, take a picture of the Dushi sign, which in case you didn't know, it means yummy tasting or sweetie. Yeah, I was amazed by how everyone was saying dushi, dushi, and <laughs> like sweetie, you know? So <laughs> yeah, that's very interesting. So now let's talk about its delicious cuisine. So one of the most popular dishes is canistoba, a veal stew made with tender beef cubes in a spicy juice and slow cooked. And consider Curacao's national dish is keshi jena, which is a cheese rind filled with cooked meat, often chicken, and scraps of edam or gouda cheese. And let's not forget this. You might, you, some folks might get surprised, but it's iwana soup, made with slowly grilled meat, prepared with spices, and served with rice and a slice of lime. And pastechi pie is a sort of pastry fold over filled with uh, cooked beef, fish, or shrimp seasoned with spices. We also have there the fish balls. This Caribbean version of a Dutch dish is prepared with tuna, garlic, onion, and bell pepper. And last but not least, don't leave the island without tasting the emblematic liquor of blue curacao, made from the dried peels of a bitter orange fruit called laraja. This citrus fruit is original from Curacao, and you have to try this amazing place uh, with uh, the distilleries that they have there with a the senior Curacao liquor. And now it's time for some fun facts. So let's check out these 10 fun facts about Curacao. You know, you, you say Curacao, I say Curacao, Mexicans say says Curacao, and I mean, which one is it? All forms are correct. So how you write it, it doesn't matter. It comes from the Portuguese word for healing or heart. Locally, the island is affectionately known as Dushi Corsu. Yeah, but in Portuguese, Curaçao, Curaçao. <laughs> Dushi, uh, Dushi would be like sweet Curaçao. Exactly. The colorful facades of Williamstad are one of the island's most famous attractions. You'll see sky blue, orange, green, and pastel pink shades. By law, buildings cannot be painted white because the sun's glare can cause headaches and blindness. Their unique style earned them UNESCO World Heritage status. Every December, painting houses is a tradition to refresh energies and welcome new things. All the bridges are named after queens. Shopping center used to be a fortress to protect the bay. And uh, we're talking about the reef fort. So they built this shopping mall inside the reef, and it's just uh, one thing to remember to do while you're in Curacao. So get to know the Queen Emma Bridge, which connects Punda and Otra Banda. A ferry ride will show you both worlds. The bridge, it's a floating bridge actually, opens as you're about to cross Santana Bay. And the Scarlu neighborhood is a canvas for artists. 
It houses display street art. Enjoy the Curacao North Sea Jazz Festival, a major music event in the Caribbean that attracts around 15,000 spectators yearly at the end of August. Over three days, 18 international artists from various music genres perform on three stages on the island. While jazz takes the spotlight, you can also groove to R&B, funk, hip-hop, ballads, salsa, and Colombian Vallenato. Dancing time, that's great. And yeah, and peso pluma. Yeah. <laughs> and also explore the Hato Caves with impressive stalactites and stalagmites featuring drawings from, guess what, 1500 years ago. So if you're looking for a thrill, head over to Aruba and Bonaire, which only are 20 minutes away by plane with daily non-stop flights to these ABC islands. And also you get an amazing view now from the small little planes that go back and forth. The view is astonishing. Astonishing and it's only a 20 minute ride. So let's introduce the resorts, Mike. Curacao is never short of unforgettable experiences. And what better way to discover the island than staying at one of the three UBC resorts located in this Caribbean gem. Yeah, it's a good thing for our members that they get to choose either the Sunscape, the Dreams or the Zoetry, depending on the type of vacation that you want to have. So in this uh, case, I'm going to talk to you about Dreams Curacao Resort and Spa and Casino, which is for couples and couples with children. And uh, it's sitting along the beaches of Piscatera Bay at the heart of this gorgeous island. And with the privileged location 15 minutes away from the Hato International Airport. And our members will be delighted with this fantastic five star resort and the unlimited luxury inclusions for every member of the family. Each of the 197 spacious rooms and suites offer breathtaking views of the Caribbean Sea, Tropical Island, or the manicured gardens. Also, prepare to love all of the seven dining options including three a la carte restaurants one buffet a snack grill a cafe and a brewery and the best drinks are waiting for you at our four bars make time to lunch by the pool or take leisure walks by the beach on piscadera bay no vacation day is complete without a soothing massage or facial treatment at dream spa by pevonia so let's talk now about the gorgeous boutique resort of Zoetry Curacao Resort and Spa. So discover a fantastic paradise. This luxurious boutique resort with an exclusive location on Curacao Island next to Dreams Curacao. So reconnect with nature in any of its 72 recently renovated suites. Relax in the beautiful and harmonious natural surroundings with a convenient location 10 minutes from the International Airport and 15 minutes from Willemstad. With endless privileges, you will be able to focus on your well-being and see all of your expectations exceeded. You will find a variety of organic food, fresh local ingredients, and gluten-free options to suit your needs. Sip signature cocktails and handcraft drinks in the wine bar, lobby, or swim up bar. For special occasions, opt for a quiet and intimate dinner at the impressive wine cellar. Book a couple's massage at one of the spa suites for a truly pampering and relaxing experience. And your stay gives you full access, as we mentioned, to Dreams Curacao Resort Spa and Casino next door, accessible by a private golf cart transfer of only one or two minutes. You know, it's kind of neat to be able to stay at one resort and enjoy two, no? Exactly. Especially if it's a zoetry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and also that is really nearby. So I'm going to talk to you now about Sunscape Curacao Resort Spa and Casino. Actually, that casino is a lot of fun. And one thing about the Sunscape is that is, you know, luxury vacation, affordable price. There's, uh, you know, you also have like for, for the rates that you pay, you have amazing amenities. So it's a family friendly resort. And it's perfect to spend an unforgettable and affordable vacation, like I said, where our members will have fun in the shimmering pools, exciting excursions, a plenty of entertainment for the whole family on a beachfront setting. This resort is located in Wilmstad, 
a four minute walk from Mambo Beach and 12 minutes away from the Curaçao Sea Aquarium. Other nearby points of interest include Jantil Beach at 5.5 miles and Blue Bay, which is eight miles away. Any of the 341 rooms will make you feel at home. Taste the best dishes of local and international cuisine at World Cafe, one of our many dining options available at the resort, which includes five restaurants and six bars. Enjoy a true all-inclusive experience with the unlimited fun concept. Choose from uh, of the very non-motorized water sports and fun activities during the day and enjoy the nightly live entertainment. Prepare to be pampered by the spa by Pegonia with a wide array of facial and body treatments and a massage menu for adults and kids. Fight off vacation calories at the fitness center and is fun for all ages and is granted at the Explorers Club for children and Core Zone for teens. Now, one of the things that I really love about this resort is that it has like a, a man-made reef where you can scuba dive on the ocean side or snorkel on the beach side. And the non-motorized water sports are available all day. You can have a ball. And it also, besides having fun in the casino, but it also has a dive shop, which makes it very attractive for scuba divers. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very nice shop. Actually, it's very complete. And it's located in a very, very curious area uh, of the resort with a view to the Mambo Cafe, actually, Mambo Cafe Beach. So very, very interesting. Yeah. Mike, we have a very special guest with us for this Curacao episode of Cruising the UBC World. We have uh, Guillermo Ortega Memo, uh, originally from Maracaibo, Venezuela. He's been uh, residing in Curacao for 17 years. He holds a bachelor's degree in marketing and management as well. Two additional master's degrees, one uh, in e-commerce and social media, the other in business administration. Uh, you know, he also studied these ones from Barcelona, Spain. He has many years of experience uh, in the Hyatt Inclusive Collection, including the leadership in sales of these three properties we hold in Curacao, Sunscape, Zoetry, and Dreams. So, so thank you, Memo, for being with us, for joining us in this episode. Charlie, thank you so much, Amai, for the opportunity. This is, is a great, a great uh, opportunity for us to show up our resort, our destination, uh, all what we can offer to our UBC member guests. Well, Guillermo, it's very nice to have you on the show. And, um, you know, I, I, I've been to that resort in, in the Sunscape Curacao, but I wanted to ask you what activities are offered at Sunscape Curacao to keep our members and their kids entertained. Okay, we have here several activities. I mean, the one I like, I like two, is, to be honest. I like two, they are the most funny for me. Uh, you have one in the day, that, that is the, the Janga Games, it's on the, in the pool area, and that's participate with all the family, adults, teenagers, kids. So that's very, very, very inter uh, entertaining activity. You know, and the other one is the cultural gala night. It's a, a, a very, very popular night where we show to all our guests part of the culture of Curacao. So they going, they, they, they can dance a little bit about our typical music of Curacao. They can, they can see how the typical, uh, the typical uh, dress uh, from the from the island, what normally the people use them when it's a specific day, like the national day or, or flag day or. Of, of the day of Curacao. So they, they're going with more knowledge about the culture of the island. Well, that's amazing. Very, very entertaining, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know... A very colorful. <laughs> very colorful <laughs> as well. You know, the Zoetry brand, Zoetry Wellness Resorts and Spas, you know, is being very popular for their amazing food concepts. In particular, Zoetry Curacao offers very, very nice food. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which dishes and restaurants you recommend from Soetri? Okay, let's start in the in the, for, in the morning. I mean, I like to to have the the breakfast at Bloom. Bloom is our breakfast a uh, restaurant, and then they have a really good Benedict X. I fully recommend it. Fully, fully recommend it. If we go into the in the evening, in the afternoon, we have the the Botanica. Is our our restaurant in the pool. So there you have the 
fish trio. So the fish trio is three types of fish, different, and then you can try it during the launch. I really recommend it. It's one, it, those are local fish. So it's um, so the day they can change the, the type of fish, but the chess maker really good. And also I want to congratulate the team there for doing an amazing effort, you know, in the VIP event with the two different dinners they have for members in Zoetri Curacao. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to, to having all of you here. Uh, also for the evening, I forget, we have a really, really good lobster salad. I really recommend the lobster salad and the uh, uh, and the mushroom uh, soup. Mushroom soup. That sounds great to yeah. me. Uh, yes. Believe now, me. Guillermo, uh, we know Curaçao is like a destination to do lots of water sports and uh, scuba diving and lots of activities. But what about if you go like to celebrate a honeymoon or an anniversary? What would you recommend our recommend our members to do? Okay, uh, you fear of you can take a, a city tour. You know you have to have more kind of knowledge about the island, about the history, about the culture, and uh, to be a little bit more romantic. I recommend the hundred percent to take the tour to Plain Curacao because you're going early in the morning, and then you come back around the sunset time. So you are in the in the in the boat, and then you can enjoy the sunset. So for me, that's one of the most romantic tour. Uh, for honeymooners. Well, the yeah, sunset sounds about great. <laughs> uh, Curacao has beautiful sunsets, no? It is, it is. Um, all year round we have beautiful sunset, and the most important to highlight, we are outside of the hurricane uh, uh, barrier in the Caribbean, so it's always, it's always safe to do a uh, sunset trip or going to clean Curacao any time of the year. Well, Guillermo, what is the best part in the three resorts for our members to dance or listen to music? Okay, uh, I mean, let's start with Sunscape. Sunscape have a, a beautiful bar in the Cole Chuga Reef. It's located at the, at the main pool areas. Also, this bar is swing up, uh, swing up bar. So there you can grab a really good beer. You can have all the cocktails from, the, from, the, from our staff and the, the bar. Uh, it's the main, lo main location, so you're going to have a really good time talking with the guests and also talking with the staff at the bar. Then, in, in Dreams, for sure, my favorite bar there is the, is the Rendezvous. The Rendezvous location is perfect. Sitting there, you can talk with all the guests. You can see all the ambience in the, in the hotel. You can take a look in, from the pool to the beach, to the main lobby, to the restaurant. So the, the location at Dreams Curacao is the Rendezvous bar. And then for Suetri Curacao is the Flora Bar. The Flora is the bar located in the lobby. Uh, it's open uh, almost 24 hours. So there is the main point location for everyone to meet and uh, grab a uh, drink. <laughs> I like the Curacao yes. drink. Yes, the like blue. our cocktails. <laughs> it matches the swimming pool and the, and the yes, ocean. Yes, we have uh, several uh, cocktails what we made with the blue Curacao and the red Curacao and the the pink curacao as well so we have several cocktails that we made from the from the curacao liquor these are our inside uh, uh, cocktails now when we take a vacation uh, guillermo we always like to kind of like relax and stuff and it's always recommended to have a, like a massage go to the spa spend you know some time there and and really enjoy the the, the service of a massage so I wanted to ask you for the Dreams Curacao Spa by Pevonia. If you went there, uh, do you recommend one particular uh, service or massage, like couples massage, or what would you recommend to really, you know, release the stress? Wow, I mean, I really like the the, the spa. That we have a really good staff there. The the ladies give a really good massage. So you you after the massage you are like new, you know, like it's zero kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I think that the massage that I really like there is the uh, hot stone. It's a massage like 60, you have the 60 and 90 minutes. And after that, you believe me, you release all the stress from your body. And then you can pass to the, to the spa, to the jacuzzi. So then you have the full massage between 60 and 90 minutes. And then you go to the, the jacuzzi. It's the perfect. And this you can take uh, in couples or just alone. Oh man, <laughs> I'm just imagining. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's amazing to have those stones in your in your back and feel the the, 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 the warmth. Believe me, all your muscles go relaxing right away. Amazing. Well, Memo, one of the things that usually members and guests in general travel, one of the reasons they travel to, to Curacao are the beautiful and gorgeous beaches. So which uh, three beaches you recommend, uh, you know, or listeners, you know, to visit when they're uh, at Curacao in the island? So with and without children. Okay, the good thing from Curacao, all the, all the beaches are uh, family friendly. You know, you can go alone, you can go with your couple, you can go with a kid. That is, is, is very good uh, new for everyone. Uh, my top three beaches in the island is one, is the Kenepa. The Kenepa is just amazing beach. When you arrive there, you arrive in the hill and then you can see full the beach. You can see the, the, the water is like blue crystal water. It's, it, it's unbelievable. It's like the, the water from the pool. So it's unbelievable that 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 the, the water from from the from this beach from Kenepa, Kenepa Grande is the 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 full name of this beach. Then you have a uh, Puerto Marí. Puerto Marí is a beautiful beach also. It's close by to Kenepa, and then you have a uh, Casabal. Casabal is also a really nice beach. It's a longer beach, so then you have facility, restaurant, toilets, everything there. So those are my my top three beaches in the islands. And uh, I like to talk about a very popular landmark of uh, Curaçao, the Queen Emma Bridge in Willemstad. <clears throat> uh, what would be the perfect day to visit this this part of Curaçao? To go to the downtown, uh, pass by through the, the Emma Emma Bridge, I mean, it's any time. It's gorgeous. During the day, you can see the sun, you can see the people walking through the, the bridge, you can see our a beautiful uh, building from the century 18 so it's perfect but if you go in the night you you're gonna see another phase of the city because it fully a uh, colorful light through the bridge in front of the houses so i mean you have to go during the day and also during the night to have the best picture for your uh, memories very, very nice. And, uh, you know, uh, we want to also ask you in regards of this Curacao liquor, we, you already mentioned, you know, some of your favorite ones, uh, but uh, there is also a tour, you know, to visit the senior uh, Curacao liquor uh, factory. And, you know, this is very, very interesting uh, in Curacao, do you know, to find some more about the history of this uh, liquor and how it has become famous all over the world. So which other two uh, drinks uh, do you recommend that are made with Curacao? Um, okay, I have two to, be, to, to tell you. I have two favorite uh, cocktails from the, the Blue Curacao. We have the Blue Lagoon. You can make it with vodka, Blue Curacao liquor, a little bit of Sprite, uh, a touch of lemon juice so it is very refresh uh, mainly for the summer days it's perfectly and here in Curacao we have summer year round so it's perfectly to drink every any time of the day and then we do have also the Bombini it's a famous cocktail in our resort it's made with white rum green Curacao liquor so here we change it instead of blue Curacao we move it to green Curacao pineapples and lemon juice so both uh, both uh, cocktails are very refreshed. Uh, it's made by the blue curacao and green curacao liquor. Wow, amazing! Well, Memo, we really want to thank you uh, for you being with us in this episode celebrating Curacao, this de amazing destination. It was a pleasure having you. Now, thank you guys for the opportunity. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I really enjoy you have, having all of you here. Also, for me, it's a great pleasure to host all the all the members. I came with the UBC and see the, the beautiful our resource and destination. Thank you so much and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you. See you, see you soon as well. Mike, it's time to talk about the UBC hacks. That's right. UBC hacks help our members to understand more a little bit about our uh, brand niches and uh, do a better planning on their vacations according to the type of vacation that they want and uh, you know who's going to the vacation etc so um, 
I was looking for you, Charlie, for this. I was just talking with our members, Mike, about the Breathless brand, but you know, they suddenly heard the music and started dancing. <laughs> I don't blame them, Charlie. I also feel like dancing. But we better share with our audience everything they should know about Breathless Resort and Spas. Sure thing. Celebrate with your friends and family in a Breathless Resort and Spas branded property with a spectacular fusion of music, fashion, culture, and art. Discover more with these exciting UBC hacks. Breathless are fantastic adults-only resorts, a place to enjoy good music, fashion, elevated dining experiences, and lots of fun. Start your stay in one of the luxurious suites and enjoy spacious balconies with outdoor whirlpool or plunge pools and breathtaking views. Options vary by resort. Get ready to enjoy a unique gourmet experience in any of the restaurants and savor unlimited top-shelf beverages at multiple bars. There is always something to do. From the moment you wake up, choose from a variety of activities to keep you energized and in a good mood. The resorts offer spectacular swimming pools and picture-perfect beaches. And here you can dance to the beat of the most vibrant electric music. Breadless is ideal to celebrate special occasions. Think about birthdays, bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, and even weddings. Take your events to the next level. After the party, relax with the nice uh, spa treatments at the Spa by Pebonia. So discover why Breadless is more than just a vacation destination. Book at any of our five resorts located in some of the most beautiful destinations in the Caribbean. So just log into our website, unlimitedvacationclub.com, and find the different fares and availability at these locations. Mike, I just wanted to take, as usual, a quick minute just to remind our members to write us to social media at unlimitedbc.com and please let us know which are your favorite beaches and favorite places in Williamstad or in Curacao and what you enjoy the most about our properties in this region. And now, Charlie, we feature the traveling quote of the episode. It is the time to say goodbye with the unique quote of this episode. To be extremely happy, all you need is a little blue skies, warm breeze, and good company in Dushi Curacao. Wellness you didn't know you needed. Experience Viva Dushi and uncover the essence of pure happiness found only in Curacao. Amazing Dushi Curacao. So Dushi everyone from there, amazing destination. So, Mike, I really want to thank everyone, you know, for joining us and, of course, our members, you know, to remind them to follow us on our social media networks. Uh, remember that we're having our uh, UBC uh, TikTok profile and you can find us as Unlimited Vacation Club all together. On Facebook, remember to find us as UBC-Unlimited Vacation Club. You can also join our private group and just answer the questions that we have available there to identify uh, and vali validate you know every single member that joins and as well we have our youtube channel where already has more than 70,000 subscribers so we are uh, reaching a new milestone so remember to subscribe uh, as unlimited vacation club and follow us there as well so mike it was a pleasure having you again in this uh, podcast celebrating curacao Thank you to all of our audience for listening to this podcast. See you in the next one. And thank you, Charlie. As always, it was nice to be with you. It was very nice, Michael. We remind our members that we're going to be talking about Cartagena in Colombia in the next episode. Thank all you. Right. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Como así. Talk to you soon. <laughs> es verdad. The opinions expressed in this podcast are the sole responsibility of the person providing them and do not necessarily reflect the official position of a limited vacation club or its constituent entities. The information provided in this podcast may vary at the time of listening. Always consult the updated information on our website or throughout our official media.